Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep. Welcome back to my channel Power BI Tutorials. In this video, we will understand what is Power BI. Power BI is a powerful data visualization and business analytics tool provided by Microsoft. It helps you to visualize your data, share insights and make data-driven decisions through interactive dashboard and reports. For example, let's say you run a small business and you have a sales data, you have a customer data and you have financial data and all data is coming from multiple sources. So with the help of Power BI, you can bring all data together. You can analyze it, the data. And after that, you can present that data in the form of charts and graphs so that anyone can understand the data in easy way. Now, let me show you the Power BI desktop. So you can see here, right now I am in Power BI desktop. And under the visualization tab, you can see the various kind of visuals. So for an example, this one is a stack bar chart, this one is a stack column chart, then we have pie chart, donut chart, card visuals, map visuals, table visuals, and this one is matrix visuals and many more. Power BI supports more than 35 plus native visuals. And apart from that, you can import the custom visuals. So you can see here, just click here, then click on get more visuals and it will navigate to you Microsoft App Source site. So from here, you can import the custom visuals. So here we have uh, categories. So let's suppose you want to import KPI visual. So just select the KPIs category and you can see these all are KPI custom visuals. We have two types of custom visuals. First one is certified custom visuals and second one is not certified custom visuals. So how you will identify certified custom visuals? So you can see here, just next to the name of custom visual. So this one is adverse card visuals rights. And after name, you can see the blue tick, right? So that means this visual is certified by Microsoft. And for circle KPI, there is no blue tick, right? So that means this visual is not certified by Microsoft. Generally, custom visual is not recommended. But if you want to use custom visuals so always go with certified custom visuals because these all visuals developed by third party companies so sometimes you will face the optimization issue okay and one more thing to import the custom visuals you have to sign up with your official mail id power bi does not support the personal mail id like gmail.com hotmail.com or yahoo.com okay so to import the custom visual you have to sign up with your official mail id now let me show you the data so you can see here i import this data in power bi and after that i create the visualization so that anyone can understand the data in easy way now back to the slide second question is who uses it so mostly used by technical or data analyst professional, but non-technical user also can use this. Basically anyone who deals with data can benefit from using Power BI. Means if you are technical, so you can easily understand the Power BI. Okay. And if you are not technical and if you have basic knowledge of Excel or Excel formulas, so you can easily understand the Power BI at basic level. For advanced level, you need to understand data in deep way now move to the next slide how you will download the power bi desktop so you can directly download the power bi desktop from microsoft official site so you can see here right now i am in microsoft official site i will provide this url in video description you can access from there and once you open this site here you can see the download option click here it will show you the two setups of power bi desktop first one is for operating system 32 if your windows support operating system 32 you can download first one and if your windows support operating system 64 bit you can download second one once you download the setup after that just follow the instruction and click on next button you can easily install the power bi desktop without any issue now we will discuss the types of power bi so we have three types of power bi power bi desktop power bi service and power bi mobile Power BI Desktop is a free version of Power BI. You can use it to build reports on your local machine. So I already discussed with you Power BI Desktop. So you can see here, this is the Power BI Desktop. And in Power BI Desktop, you can import the data from multiple sources. 
after that you can perform the transformation if required and then you can create the relationship so if you have multiple tables right so from here you can manage the relationship and after that you can create the visualizations okay second one is power bi service so power bi service is a cloud version of power bi where you can publish the report share and collaborate on reports it's where you will host your report and distribute them across your team or organizations means this is the cloud version of power bi so once you done with development so let's suppose in power bi desktop you create the report right so here you can see the publish option so once you click on publish will show you the workspace list in which is workspace you want to publish your report so let's suppose i want to publish my report under pbi work right so just select the workspace and click on select so you can see here it will publish your report under selected workspace in my workspace uh, with this name report is already exist so that's why it is asking you want to replace with that okay, i want to replace with that report so you can see here it is publishing my report so in upcoming video we will discuss power bi surveys in detail okay so you can see here my report is published successfully and if you want to open report just click here so it will navigate to you power bi service and here you can see the report which i created in power bi desktop this is the workspace at the time of publish i select this pbi work workspace okay so in upcoming video we will discuss in detail about workspace and power bi service third one is power bi mobile so you can install the power bi mobile app in your phone power bi support both version ios and android and through your mobile phone you can access the power bi report and dashboard now move to the next slide data connections so in this slide we will discuss about data sources supported by power bi so generally power bi supports a wide range of sources such as excel sharepoint csv sql oracle analysis service and many more let me show you the list of data source so you can see here here we have get data option and under this it is showing common data sources first so means these all data sources is frequently used by most of the companies okay so like excel then power bi semantic models data flows sql nsc services web right and apart from these here is more options so once you click here it will open the wide range of data sources you can see here okay and if you want to access file sources so just click on file so you can see here under files we have pdf json xml test csv and excel and if, if you want to load data from databases so select the databases option so under databases we have sql server access then we have mysql sap oracle ssas and many more in same way microsoft fabric so here we have lake house warehouse data flows in power platform so we have dataverse data flows in azure azure sql database azure cosmos azure blob storage and many more in online services we have dynamic 365 salesforce okay you can see the wide range of data sources under online services in others we have web sharepoint dish hadoop and many more okay so power bi support wide ranges of data sources now we will discuss how does power bi works so power bi works in three steps first one is connect transform and model and then visualize and share you can connect power bi with multiple data sources so let's suppose i want to import data from excel right so just click here and after that just browse the excel file from your system so you can see here i already import one data okay so first step is connect so in connect you can just import the data from source second option is transform and model so once you load the data from source then you can transform your data from here and you can see here this is my data okay and here we have a lot of options right you want to change the data type you you want to rename the column or you want to uh, remove the duplicate rows right so let's suppose i want to remove the duplicate rows 
so just select the column right click here so you can see uh, remove duplicate rows okay and also you can see the multiple transformation option right you want to change the data type uh, decimal whole number and you want to split the columns you want to replace the values right so in second step you can transform the data and once you're done with the transformation then from here you can manage the relationship so let's suppose you import the multiple tables right so right now i i only import single table and if you import multiple tables so here you can manage the relationship okay now third one is visualization and share so once you're done with uh, uh, transformation after that you can create the visualization like this then click on publish and once you're done with publish after that in power bi service you can share your report with your colleagues okay now move to the next slide what are the components of power bi so first one is power bi desktop we already discussed in power bi desktop we can we can import the data we can uh, transform the data then uh, we can set up the model and then we can create the visualization power query power query a, a data transformation and etl excel transform load tool used within a power bi desktop to sweep and clean the data you can see here with the help of power query you can get the data from multiple sources after that you can transform the data from here and here you can perform the etl operations means uh, we extract the data from multiple source then we transform data here and then load okay so this is the power query then power pivot power pivot is a in memory data modeling engine that allows you to create relationship between tables and define calculation using tags so once you done with transformation here you can create the relationship okay so let's suppose you have multiple tables here you can create the relationship and also you can write the tax formula so just right click in the data set and here you can see the new measure option and here you can write the DAX formula like this okay so in upcoming video we will understand DAX in detail okay so in that way you can write the DAX formula so these all things comes under power pivot fourth one is data analysis expression DAX so a, a formula language used to create custom calibration measure and expression in power bi so i already showed you how you will create the dax right so just right click here and click on new measure and after that you can write the dax code okay then we have visualization so you can see here this is the visualization from here you can add the visual in power bi report and then drag the data in the visualization okay and visual visual will create then custom visual so custom visual i already uh, showed you custom visual is a third party visuals or developed by third party developers then report so report is this one i just open the power bi desktop i import the data after that i create the multiple visualizations so here you can add the multiple pages right so these all things comes under one report okay so this is the report now we have dashboard so basically once you're done with the reports and you publish the report okay, in power bi service under this report we have multiple pages right page one and page two and each pages we have multiple visuals dashboard is a collection of report visuals so let's suppose i created this report with multiple visuals right and i want to add this visual in my dashboard uh, dashboard so just click here in pin visual okay it is showing me you want to create you want to add this visual in existing dashboard or you want to create new dashboard right so basically dashboard is a collection of report visuals and report can be multiple okay so let's suppose i created this report under this report i have two pages in same way let's suppose i have multiple reports right so i can pin multiple reports visual in one dashboard now we have power bi service so this is the power bi service so you can see here so basically once you're done with the report development after that you can publish your work in power bi service and through power bi service you can create the dashboard or you can share your report and dashboard with your colleagues and within an organization 
पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट सर्वर सो पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट सर्वर इज ए ऑन प्रमिस सोल्यूशन फॉर पब्लिसिंग मैनेजिंग एंड एसेसिंग फॉर पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट सो बेसिकली पावर बी आई सर्विस इज ए क्लाउड बेस सोल्यूशन टू पब्लिस पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट एंड पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट सर्वर इज ए ऑन प्रमिस सोल्यूशन फॉर पब्लिसिंग मैनेजिंग एंड एक्सेसिंग पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट पावर बी आई मोबाइल सो पावर बी आई मोबाइल मीन्स यू कैन इंस्टॉल पावर बी आई एप इन यूर फोन एंड यू कैन एक्सेस द रिपोर्ट एंड डैशबोर्ड थ्रू यूर स्मार्ट फोन पावर बी आई गेट वे सो पावर बी आई गेट वे इज अ ब्रिज प्रोवाइड द कनेक्शन बिटवीन यूर ऑन प्रमिस सोर्स एंड ऑनलाइन पावर बी आई सर्विस देन वी हैव पावर बी आई एमरेड so power bi embedded allows organization to embed power bi report and dashboard into custom application so let's suppose you have uh, one application in dotnet or java or python right and you want to integrate your power bi report with different different application like uh, dotnet application java applications using power bi embedded you can integrate then we have ai power insight so this is the features that use ai to automatically detect patterns analyze and trends in the data now we will discuss how much does power bi cost so first we have power bi free so if you are just using it for yourself power bi desktop is completely free second we have power bi pro if you need to share reports with others and collaborate you will need a power bi pro license and for power bi pro license cost is 10 dollar per user per month then we have ppu ppu is used for if you have a small teams needing premium feature without needing full capacity based licensing so cost for ppu is 20 dollar per month then we have power bi premium capacity so power bi premium capacity is used for larger organization that need advanced feature and want to share reports with many users cost for power bi premium capacity is 4995 dollar per month for dedicated capacity so that's all for this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more great content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you